today is the day of a makeup challenge. I think I've only done about like one or two of them on my channel. I never do the challenges, uh, but I quite like this one. This is of course the I tried following XX YouTubers uh, makeup tutorial makeup challenge and I ran a little poll on Twitter and from all of these votes that you guys voted in that were so many Jackie Ina was the one that you wanted to see me follow uh, the makeup tutorial off and so this is this is what I'm gonna do today um, a small disclaimer I am in no shape or form going to have the exact same products that she does I doubt I'll have a single same product that she uses um, but I guess this is like a poor person's version of this challenge. I think it's still gonna be the same thing um, I'm basically I've picked a tutorial that I can a makeup look that I can actually recreate with the things that I do have um, I don't think it's that important to use the same products. I think I'll be doing just what most people do anyway um, Like with all of my tutorials. I do not recommend I do not expect you to have the same products to be able to follow a look or a tip or you know anything just use what you have, use what works for you, and just follow the steps. So this is what I'm gonna do. So yeah, let's do this in the name of fun and in the name of makeup, I guess, and let's just get to it. So obviously I'm just watching it on my phone, but I'll just pop it somewhere on this screen, I guess, uh, so that you can watch along with me. One of them was on Pat McGrath's Instagram. Like this, this whole, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. She fucking kills me. Today's Black Friday and I wasn't planning on going anywhere or leaving my house, but after this look, I might have to. Now, before we do get started, uh -huh. if you like wigs, if you like a little bit of shade throwing, if you like makeup, then you might as well join the Jackie Ina family. If you don't, I will be harassing you. If you don't, I will be You should. Her videos are like okay. so funny. Ain't nobody got she's not only like great at makeup and other things, she's just like literally hilarious. We're first, going to start off with the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. Shade range, not a fan of. Um, it definitely. Okay, so she's starting off with foundation. I literally actually had this e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, uh, but I ran out of it. I quite liked it. Definitely needs work, but it's probably one of the most affordable, like really good foundations that I found. I am really here for this yes, it really is. thick, moussey Oh, like, okay, okay. So she's actually going, okay, I'm gonna need to so pause you, honey. Um, she's going with a brush. Ah! I have a beauty blender here, like, moist and everything, and she's gone with a brush, so I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match, and fuck, the only brush that I have for foundation is this little stippling one. Let's just fucking do it. She didn't even prime? Girl, did you say you primed because I didn't hear you say- I didn't hear, and so the makeup challenge is to try and follow someone else's tutorial, so since I didn't hear you say anything, you know, that's all I can do. Let's see what she's saying. Oh, in case anybody's trying to clock you for the acne marks or scars, clock you for the, I love the trans I do feel lingo. like this is more with this foundation. If you use too much, I tend to get a little bit oily, so I'm not going in, okay? I just used one pump. Look at how uh, much. That one pump. Goddamn, I used way more than one pump, it's fine. One pump of foundation. I know that everybody mm. has different skin issues, skin concerns, but you still don't want the base to look cake. What you can do is you can build up in other areas of the face, like your concealer. So I'm gonna take uh -huh. a high coverage concealer. This is the no. Oh, she's already onto concealer, concealer girl. The thing with having a flawless How quickly do you get ready? Stop. I need to do some catching up here. Fuck me. Even though I like this brush, like this is the only um, nice foundation brush that I have, I'm actually not used to it, so... I don't want this to be a disaster just, uh, from like step one, so I'm actually gonna cheat a little bit and just make sure that I finish this foundation off with a bit of a bouncing action. Violent blending as a Ohio, I think, anchorman would say. If you don't know who I'm talking about, it's the straight man. Straight anchorman who like keeps doing makeup tutorials at like 4.30 in the morning in his recording studio with like Ohio News or something. Oh, it's Cincinnati actually. Okay, we're ready to move on. So, let's go Jackie Aina. center of your face pretty flawless. 
like for me, my problem areas like are around my jawline. This is where I tend to get the most like scars and breakouts and stuff. Okay. But as long as the the focus is here, uh -huh. as long as you right here, the, the focus, you're good, the focus is in the center. Yes. You can kind of you know get away with not having perfect perfect coverage everywhere else. So I'm sweeping that concealer. Okay, so she's applying concealer. What she's talking about is like you know uh, the, highlighting the center of your face, and you can get away with like not having perfect. Um, coverage or you know being clocked with um, your blemishes or whatever this is my favorite trick that uh, I guess only half the people can kind of kind of apply is um, don't shave clean <laughs> because if you have stubble uh, you can't see all that very much so I literally just shaved clean um, earlier this morning and everything is obviously on display but if you just have a little bit of stubble there nobody can tell that you've got some shit going on there right so from concealer I'm going to use my uh, locket concealer from Kat Von D and I'm actually gonna apply just as much as she's applying really I don't do that She's doing a whole. Add some width to my holy face. fuck! I'm going to do the rainbow. Uh, She's doing a whole shebang here. Help stretch my face out. Some people contour and highlight to look more narrow. She is doing a whole shebang, and I'm playing on the highlights and shadows of my face to actually add. Some, Got a triangle you know, going on. Just, you don't have to permanently fix just like Jackie Aya. I have to zoom this in a little bit. But this concealer is ending and uh okay. We wouldn't be snatched for bougie aunties who always talk crap about us because I've got another one, but I think the other one's also done. No, there is some luck. But you know they all come to stunt at the family dinners. So she's like maybe there could be some of you who could be coming in contact with some exes this holiday season. She's doing the whole highlighting thing while talking so much. I do not know. Okay, she did her this here. And I think that's it. Oh my god, she's contouring. I do not fucking contour. Hold up, Jackie Aina. Hold up. Fuck, let me find something to fucking cream contour with. I am like 99% sure that the only cream contour I have is this uh, Mislin Shaping Queen Highlight and Contour Stick. This is literally the only thing. Stop. No further than like the outside Wait, what? of your eyes, right in Outside there. of your eyes? And just so the concealer is not long, I'm contouring my nose. I live a happy life. Now, Holy hell, okay. So let me go ahead and blend this out. No, 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 no. Okay, no further than the outside of the eyes, yes. I agree. Holy hell, she's blending. Okay. I don't know where else you put it. I do that on purpose. It's called blending. Okay, somehow it triggers OCD for them. I don't really, do, I, 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 I can't, I can't help you. Okay, we're blending. But I will keep you in my prayer. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm starting at the contour, and this is honestly the most seamless way to get your contour and your highlight to be married with one another. The good thing about color palettes okay. and filter concealer um, is it's relatively budge proof. So I'm trying to get them to marry, sure. Really nicely, but that also means you gotta work but she's doing this so just one it, side okay she does like full coverage okay i love the process of blending my forehead oh my god how is she doing this contour. every single time i start to blend Taking i'm like deep 70 from the color pop no filter concealer oh you're moving on hold up girl hold up and you are i don't know what you're doing i'm sorry she has the uncanny ability to talk and blend at the same time i don't I don't subscribe to that. I cannot do that. I don't contour because I quite like the shape of my face. I like it to be rounded and cute. Um, but I mean, it is a nice contour. That's that, like the stick from Michelin. It is a really nice product. So it's the only reason I kept it. Hallelujah. This is like blending out nicely. Okay. See, I don't contour. I literally just bronze. It does the same thing. And with just a few swipes of a big brush, which means I don't have to blend it vigorously. But here we go. Nice and highlighted and contoured. What are you doing, Jackie Aina? 
I don't want to get that upper lip crease. No, you putting I'm things on your lips? Or whatever, but we can hide a little bit of that. Okay, so I'm really a little kind of bit of concealer. You, you know. Okay, so I'm really kind of excited to feature this next product. I'm here. Hold on, she literally just put concealer on her lips. I don't understand why. I'm gonna do it. She literally applied it to her top lip like lipstick. Let's do it. Friends, this is the cool. Evolution powder from Let's Vanessa go. Myricks. So the claims are this is translucent, it is weightless, and they also say that you can use these wet or dry. These are vegan and cruelty free. I'm just looking at this information on the website, and you can use these under and over foundation. So today we're going okay. to match the highlights with shade number three because it looks like a really, really just caramel yellow color. And okay, so she's got some foundation right right powder right, things. Right, time to go. And she's baking. Oh, oh. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier uh, translucent baking powder. And again, I do not bake under my eyes because I I get weirded out by putting wet um, beauty blender in a powder. It's like one of my OCD things. Oh, holy crap. This is not a cute look. Oh. Wow. Yep. These are very fine. And as I continue pressing it, I feel like it disappears more, which is kind of nice. I'm also going to press that in the center of my face. Oh, the center of the face. This reminds me of like old school Jackie O. Like, remember when Ben Knight, don't lie and say you never used banana powder. Banana powder was a little theatrical. She was a little chunky. She's already done, and I'm like, like gives you back trying to blend this shit out. Friendly. So far, the color is fabulous. It's got the perfect amount of yellow. She's got like this Golden beautiful, top. like caramely shade it's color, it's and it's I'm over here with season. fucking banana powder. Before a person sees your soul, they see your brows. What I need you to understand is my brows are not messing with you anymore. We're not. Oh, she's doing eyebrows, and they're not messing with you. Brown, by the way. She does eyebrows on camera, I do not understand. Um, I'm using NYX um, pencil. This is called Precision Brow Pencil. It's literally just a pencil with this pulley on the other side. And she's already moving on to eyes. Girl, what? Where is your bronzer? Where is your highlight? Where is. Holy fuck, she's done. She's already like fucking over there. Okay. I need to do these brows, and you do not need to see me do them on camera. I do not need to spend a lot of time on my eyebrows because they are mostly full. Just need a little bit of help. Okay, so we can move on to eyes. She is using... I actually want to know what she's using. I kind of missed the powder and other stuff. I think she's using Pat McGrath. We'll just get right through it. It's always the same. It's always the same. Okay. Moving on to the Pat McGrath Mothership one. Pat so McGrath. How stunning is this? Yep. I'm gonna take this color, mix in with this one, oh. which is more like a dual chrome teal. I'm patting that blue into my Okay, I don't know if I have the dual chrome one, but I do have a blue. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you will know that I'm gonna use the Kat Von D um, Saint and Shinner palette. And the shade ministry is basically the same thing. What she's using from the Pat McGrath palette, hers might be a little bit more shimmery, um, but that is okay. And she's mixing it with like a really holographic one. I think I'm gonna use the Kat from D. I don't know what she's gonna do with it, but I think I'm gonna use this one, this um, Thunderstruck for, from Kat from D, uh, because it's basically a white. It's not holographic, it's more pinky and rosy. Um, okay, she's packing it. Well, also packing the teal on top. Then taking more tapered brush, this is the E45 from Sigma. I'm going to start blending uh, into my crease. Uh, wait. Then with the clean brush, I'm cleaning up around the edges wait. and softening that blue out. Now the lighter hand you use, the more control you have, so I'm just barely barely making contact with that eyelid. And, and then some of that blue got lost, we're just gonna add a little bit more. Now I'm using Blitz Emerald from the Mothership 2 Sublime Palette. This is a really unique color. This is a really unique blend of like- Holy crap, emerald she's already onto green. Wait. The closest dupe I did have in my collection is Twinkle Toes from the All I See Is Magic Palette from ColourPop. This shade is so unique that depending on how you angle the palette, 
from Pat McGrath. It literally looks like a completely, completely different color. So I'm popping that green into the inner pocket of my eye. This color is so rich. Okay, so we're gonna have to hold on. She's already like into the inner corner. She's already like into the fucking lower lash. Hold up and rewind here. This is impossible to follow in like real time. Okay, she's packed it all over her lid. So let's just keep packing until I'm happy. So okay, she she she's packed it. Okay, she's blending it. She's blending it. Then with the clean brush, I'm cleaning up around the edges and softening that blue out. Now the lighter hand you use, the more control you have. So I'm just barely like. Okay. Okay. She took a tapered brush and she blended it on the outside there. There's literally pink on this brush. I swear to God I will die. Okay, just blend it out there. What you doing next? And then some of that glue got lost. We're just gonna add yeah. a little bit more. Now I'm using Blitz Emerald from the Mothership 2 Sublime Palette. This is a really Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my God, this video is just like Oh, no, that's just an advert. Okay. You're welcome, honey. I'll watch all of it for you. We're back. Yes, you're softening the blue. I've got that. Okay, this is basically a green. Okay, the only green like this that I have is from the Urban Decay Moondust palette, and it's light here right here so I think that's the only dupe that I would have for what she's doing and she's basically applying it on a packing brush again I do literally just prefer using my fingers over packing brushes okay packing brush again and I'm dipping into light here inner pocket of my eye this okay inner pocket so of your eye it's so gorgeous using matte navy liner from Shuei I'm tightlining my waterline okay I'm she's on waterline already let's just not this um, Mundus palette from Urban Decay is like very messy, but pretty good. So she put something in her waterline. I think it's black. Okay, let's. Navy liner. Uh, I do have a navy liner, and it is from Maybelline, I think. So, let me pop that into my waterline. This is actually the exact shade of blue as the blue from the Kat Von D, the shadows, so that's pretty good. And she's using a pencil brush, uh, for which I use my little black brush to... Yeah. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, blue on the lower lash line, let's do it. Hers is like really tight in there, y'all. Like, she didn't smoke it out. She says to like really smoke it out, but it's not. Okay. You're not smoking either. Oh, damn, okay. So she put like this really beautiful, when you can fucking see. Uh, I don't have that color. So I am gonna use um, a more extreme version of that. I'm gonna use Relic. Uh, which is actually a really nice idea. So using this gold, I'm just packing that in the inner corner. Yeah. That works really nice. Uh, what's next? Mascara. Absolutely not. Lashes absolutely have to be extra over the top. Okay. 12 out of 10. Oh, yeah. I'll be taking iconic lash. I literally have like half a lash. Shadows, as expensive as they are, are so crazy pigmented. Like, no water, no fix plus need at all. Okay. Also, by the time your grandma figures her way around right, this mascara. lash situation, she will have time to be asking you questions about why you didn't cook this year. She's already got a second eye done, so let me just do that off camera real quick. Fuck, Jackie and I are crack. Okay, so I think she's already got lashes on. Yeah, her lashes cannot be that real. I must have missed her putting them on. Yes, she does. Okay, let me put mine on and I'll be right back. Okay, holy hell. Um, so what is next? She literally is still talking while doing makeup. 
Okay, she's zoomed out. Let's zoom out. Okay, now she's dancing. Oh no, blush her. She's saying blush her. Fuck. I really like this eye look. This is so nice. I never thought that blue and green uh, would go together like this. And I'm actually wearing a green, uh, but just by mistake. A mint green as well, though. Okay, so she's applying br blusher from Milani. Um, my favorite blusher right now is actually one from Elemental Beauty that I got, um, well, from them. This is, well, I keep saying that because it's my only PR package I've ever received that I had to ask for as well. Uh, but thank you guys so much. This is my favorite blusher right now. So let's just do that. Oh fuck, she's already onto contouring. Let's let's hold up Jagaina. Okay, blusher. Okay, well my blusher has a little bit of highlight, so I'm just gonna pull it out on that cheekbone a little bit. So I've got that sheen. Yes, ma'am. Shimmery finish. Fuck, she is uh, cutting that jawline of hers. Under the contour. I, like, never do that. Um, so, hold the fuck up. Did she, what did she use for that? Okay, let's literally just baking powder under the thing. Okay. Reverse contouring action. Let's uh, let's try. Oh, she got a she got a PR package, girl. None of that happens on this channel. Well, apart from the Elemental Beauty one, which I'm still very thankful for. I think lipstick is going to be the main problem in this. Uh, in that I just don't have a pink shade of lipstick. Okay, she's now swatching stuff. I don't have anything to swatch for you. But I really want Literally, send me free makeup. Just so that you have options to play with. This time, you did not sign a release form. <laughs> you were not invited to this shoot, okay, sir? So anyway, here's what number nine looks like. So here is what number nine looks like. A lot of people, I think, have beef with like a bold lip meets a bold eye, but I honestly feel like the holidays is the most appropriate time to pull. I do feel like if you are gonna do it any time of the year, it would be the holidays. Just okay, it's obviously not the holidays anymore. It is February. And you know, you see a lot of red mixed with green. Um, blue, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna go for my lime crime. Do a look like this. I think it would be right that. here. That is it is close favorite. enough to like pink, but also um, not that holidayish because it's not the holidays anymore. Okay, she's already put it on. No, she just took it. She just took it the fuck off. Cool. This is number fifty-four. So she's putting another one on. I think I'm just gonna put this on while she's swatching the things, and I'm probably gonna keep it because uh, I don't have seventeen lipsticks to swatch for you. <laughs> This is don't sass me Auntie Judith type of serving looks, you know? Don't sass me Auntie Judith. I think this is pinky enough. Like a toned down bubble gum pink? Yeah. This is probably going to be more you. It's slightly more sheer compared to the other lipsticks I've tried, the darker, bolder one, but I do like it. I didn't even add a liner. I know some people don't like that look, but I do feel like sometimes you can kind of pull it off. It just depends on how pigmented the lipstick is. And this, I think, this I think works. It definitely is. Oh yeah, I don't like liner at all. That, ooh, she likes liner. I like to overdraw my lips with so lipstick, with liquid lipstick, but I don't like lining it. So that is the end of the tutorial, girl. Oh, the end. Wait, wait for me. If you do recreate this, please tag me. I want to see it. And tag Pat McGrath because that's where I got the inspo from. I'm going to tag both of you guys because... 
really, really super ultra glam holiday looks that happen. This was fucking difficult. Jackie ain't not making me work for my views. God damn it. And I will holla at you in the next tutorial, which I will conveniently. Okay. Okay, this is not so overlined, but um, the brush on this lipstick, the double applicator has broken. So I'm not gonna play around with that right now. And Jackie Aina is just finishing her video very classily right now. She looks so pretty, and I'm just sitting here in my fucking t shirt. If you're not subscribed, we're gonna have some problems. If you're not subscribed to Jackie Aina, we're gonna have some problems. If you're not subscribed to me, um,. Well, you have the every, every, you have every right to not be. I want to zoom you in just a little bit so that you can see the actual look. I think it turned out really nice. I, this is genuinely not my way of doing makeup. You can see that I'm obviously way too pale, which is why I need some bronzing action. Um, I actually really like the lip. It is different from what she used, just a little bit different, just a little bit of a different shade and hers was not matte. Um, but the eyes, girl, this, this look is really nice. I think I winked it out probably maybe further than you imagined. Um, but this was actually really fun. Let's zoom this out. This was really fun to do because this is just a different way of doing makeup. And of course, you know, every person on YouTube, every person who is um, confident enough in their makeup skill to actually film it and put it up on YouTube, you know, kudos to you and kudos to everyone who does it. Everyone has a different way of doing their makeup and I think it's a really cool way of like learning how other people do it. I, you know, I would have done things differently. I would have never paired, you know, two shimmers together with like blue and green especially and I think it turned out really nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this challenge and what you think about this look. If, um, you know, if, if it's close enough to Jackie Aina's, Jackie Aina, it's difficult for me to say. If it's close enough, let me know as well if you think it's garbage. Let me know. I think I like it. I'm gonna tag Pat McGrath and fucking Jackie Aina in this because why not? And everyone else has done this makeup challenge and I invite you all to do this um, yourselves as well. So you're welcome to follow any of my tutorials. I think I have like 30 uh, makeup tutorials on YouTube so you can just click a playlist in my channel and you can just tag me in it when you do it. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was inspiring or useful in any way. A subscription to my channel as always is very optional. Um, but if you decide to subscribe, I hope you enjoy your stay. Right, I might see you in my next video. Bye.